Hello, welcome to IF. We have a new video every week so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. This week it's Apocalypse. Nope, not that big blue guy who ruins the X-Men's day, but the end of it all. The destruction of the earth and all life upon it. Wednesday the 23rd of September 2017 was yet another date given for the end of times. According to David Mead, author of Planet X The 2017 Arrival, we should all be dead. If we can see the future was a topic covered in one of our other videos. Mead said it's very strange indeed that both the great sign of Revelation 12 and the great pyramid of Giza both point us to one precise moment in time. September 20 to 23, 2017. Is this the end of the church age and the transition to the day of the Lord? There couldn't be two greater witnesses. Mead's prediction based on the Bible passage Isaiah chapter 13, 9, 10, which says, See the day of the Lord is coming, a cruel day with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land desolate and destroy the sinners within it. The stars of heaven and their constellations will not show their light. The rising sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. So the Bible is to blame, right? Well, although the Bible gave us the very word apocalypse, it is not the first or does not have a monopoly on the creation of the end of times. According to Isaac Asimov's Book of Facts, there is an Assyrian clay tablet which dates to approximately 2800 BC. It is inscribed with the words, Our earth is degenerate in these latter days. There are signs that the world is speedily coming to an end. Bribery and corruption are common. This is one of the earliest examples of the perception of moral decay in society being interpreted as a sign of the imminent end. Doomsday mindsets have gripped many ancient cultures, for example the Romans. Early in Rome's history, Many Romans feared that the city would be destroyed in the 120th year of its founding. There was a myth that the twelve eagles had revealed to Romulus a mystical number representing the lifetime of Rome, and some early Romans hypothesized that each eagle represented ten years. The Roman calendar was counted from the founding of Rome 1 AUC, being 753 BC. So 120 AUC is 634 BC. Some Romans figured that the mystical number revealed to Romulus represented the number of days in a year. So they expected Rome to be destroyed around 365 AUC or 389 BC. But it never happened. Like many after them, they then sat back and waited for the next apocalyptic date to be revealed. This lust for the end of all things is common to all cultures and all belief systems. We still obsess over it today. The year 2000, the millennium, was a date when the modern digital world was supposed to come crashing down. Computer systems bringing the world to its knees as they could not work past the new date. It seems ridiculous now looking back. And how about the 2012 insanity that washed over the planet from a prediction given by a 5,000 year old calendar. This phenomenon was a range of beliefs that a cataclysmic or otherwise transformative event would occur on or around the 21st of December 2012. This date was regarded as the end date of the 5,126 year long cycle in the Mayan long count calendar. Festivities to commemorate the date took place on 21st December 2012 in countries that were part of the Maya Empire, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador, with the main events being at Chechen Itza in Mexico and Tikal in Guatemala. Astronomical alignments and numerological ideas were also thrown around for this date. Those in the know claiming a new age was marked by the date and that a new period of change would begin, during which the earth and its inhabitants would undergo a positive physical or spiritual transformation, and that the 21st December 2012 would mark the beginning of a new era. Others suggested that the date marked the end of the world or a similar catastrophe. Scenarios suggested for the end of the world included the arrival of the next solar maximum 
an interaction between Earth and a black hole at the center of the galaxy, and the Earth's collision with our old friend planet Nibiru. We saw a crop of movies capitalize on the craze, and many people becoming so obsessed it even led to suicides. But once again the date came and went relatively peacefully. So why are humans so obsessed with the end of times? Why do we love disaster movies so much? And how can we be so foolish that every time an apocalypse is predicted so many believe? We seem to enjoy the, the self-fulfilling prophecy, and experts agree. Schmoll Lisek of the University of Minnesota studies the human fear system. He believes that at its heart the concept of doomsday invokes an innate and ancient bias in most mammals. Lisek says the initial response to any hint or alarm is fear. This is the architecture with which we were built. Over evolutionary history, organisms with a better safe than sorry approach have survived. This mechanism has had consequences for both the body and brain. Where the fast acting amygdala can activate a stress response before higher cortical areas have a chance to assess the situation and respond rationally. So why do we enjoy this fearful response? Lysik thinks that apocalyptic believers find validation in the idea of the end is nigh. People with a history of traumatic experiences for example may well be fatalistic. For them finding a group of like minded people offers comfort and reassurance. The removal of individual responsibility is also very attractive. It offers solace in the fact that we are part of a cosmic plan that we can't control. There is also an even broader alert and knowing the precise end date the success. Apocalyptic beliefs make existential threats the fear of our morality and predictable. Lasik working with Christine Grillion and colleagues found that when an unpleasant or painful experience such as electric shock is predictable we relax. The anxiety produced by uncertainty is gone. Knowing when the end will come doesn't appeal equally to everyone of course, but for so many it's paradoxically a reason to stop worrying. This offers people a focus, they can begin prepping. Doomsday preppers who assemble their bunkers and stop canned food are engaged in a goal oriented behavior, which are proven a therapy in times of trouble. These predictions also offer believers the power of knowledge. Karen Douglas, a social psychologist at the University of Kent, studies conspiracy theorists and believes that her study subjects share attributes with those who believe in impending apocalypse. She highlighted that although these are essentially two different phenomena, certain apocalyptic beliefs are also at the heart of conspiracy theory. As an example, the belief that government agencies know about an impending disaster and are intentionally hiding the facts to prevent public panic. Douglas says one trait she sees linking the two is the feeling of powerlessness, often connected to the mistrust in authority. Among conspiracy theorists these convictions of mistrust and impotence make their conspiracies more precious and real. People feel like they have knowledge that others do not. Knowing the end date also offers us a lesson in dystopia. Steven Slosman, an experienced child psychiatrist, believes it's the post apocalyptic landscape that fascinates people most. Slosman said, I talk to kids in my practice and they see it as a good thing. They say life would be so simple, I'd shoot some zombies and I wouldn't have to go to school. In both literature and in speaking with patients, Slosman has noticed that people frequently romanticize the end times. They imagine surviving, thriving and going back to nature. All of this uncertainty and all of this fear comes together and people think maybe life would be better after a disaster. Slosman says of course, in truth most of their post apocalyptic dreams are just fantasies that ignore the real hardships of pioneer life and a crumbling infrastructure. With these explanations things make a little more sense, it's more about the knowing and the attention that brings rather than the event, but it does remind me of the story of the boy who cried wolf. We have heard so many predictions through our history, 
that if someone is right they will probably be ignored for the longest time. Maybe up until the point we get smashed by an asteroid or the world's volcanoes all decide to blow in one unholy explosion or the earth shakes until nothing stands. We know one day the apocalypse will happen, we have our sun to thank for that but that's not due for another 5 billion years. I think we will have populated many other planets by this time and humanity will continue somewhere in the distant cosmos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up or if not a thumbs down is fine. Do you believe in apocalyptic prediction? Which past predictions did you believe to be true? For me I got swept up in the whole 2012 phenomenon. Leave a comment let us know what your thoughts are. As always follow us on social media, hit me up on twitter at if for us, sub friend and all that good stuff. Till next time.